What's up everyone, this is Shul aka Alt Crypto Gems, and today I've got a new video for you guys where I'll be explaining or showing you guys how to transfer your funds from Binance to another wallet called Trust Wallet. Now the reason why I'm creating this video is because it's a highly requested one and right now seeing Binance is for example leaving the Netherlands, Belgium and many more countries. People are asking me how can I transfer my funds from Binance to another decentralized wallet like Trust Wallet, for example. So that's why I'm creating this video. If you actually learned something from it, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video. And just a quick reminder, we are actually hosting a $250 giveaway right now. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment below on why you deserve to win the money and follow me on Twitter. That's at AltCryptoGems for daily crypto content. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So first of all, before we actually get started, Right now, the requirements that you do need is to have some money on Binance, obviously. The video is going to be about getting your funds away from Binance to a trust wallet or decentralized wallet. So the requirements are you need to have some money on Binance. This is not a video showing you how to get money on Binance, but it's one how to get away from Binance. So that's a quick requirement before watching this video. As you can see, I have some money on Binance and I'm going to be withdrawing that as an example. So let's get started. So first of all, what we need is another wallet. Now, right now I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Trust Wallet. You could also use MetaMask or any wallet for that matter, but let's, for this example, go with Trust Wallet. So what you do is you go to trustwallet.com or you simply Google Trust Wallet, but I'm actually on the website right now. And as you can see, there are many different options to download it. You can use it on your phone, on your browser. It doesn't really matter. But in this example, I'll be showing you guys how to do it through a desktop. So we're clicking the available on Google Chrome web store as I'm actually using Google Chrome right now. We're going to be adding it onto the Google Chrome browser. And as you can see, you get this screen. Now I'm going to be creating a new wallet. If you already have one, you can always import one or even connect a ledger, which is a hardware wallet. But for this example, we simply need a new fresh wallet where we can transfer some funds onto. So we go with create a new wallet, we set a password here. You need to have at least one uppercase, one digit, one symbol, and it has to be eight or more characters. So let me actually create a password right now. There we go. We agree with the terms and conditions. And right now, what you're going to get is a backup phrase of around 12 words. Now, it's very, very important that you write down these words or save them somewhere because if you ever lose the access to your wallet you can actually recover it with these 12 words so i'm going to be pausing the video here writing down my words and once that's done i'll be back with you guys so we're back i actually wrote down my words and the screen after that you have to confirm that so you have to choose or write down these words again to show that you actually know the words and wrote them down somewhere once you've done that you're going to be on this page now you can either share the data or don't i usually click no thanks people don't have to know what you do um, now you can set it as a default wallet or not. I prefer to not have anything default, so I'd say no. But then what you do is you click open wallet. Now, as you can see, let's get rid of these steps. Right now, this is the trust wallet. Like I said, you can also do this on your phone. You simply download the trust wallet app. And once you've made your wallet over here, you import these 12 words that you just saw onto your mobile phone and you'll be done. Now, right now, as you can see, everything is obviously a zero because we haven't transferred any funds yet. And these are just some big coins that you can do something with or see the prices of. Now, we have a wallet button at the bottom. We have a history where you can see all your transactions and a settings option. So let's go back to the wallet. And as you can see, we actually see Ethereum, which means you're able to switch networks as well. So let's say you want to swap or you want to trade not on the Ethereum network, but on BNB network. So BEP. 20, you're clicking smart chain and right now you would do anything on the Binance smart chain. So what we see is a value of your total portfolio, which is obviously zero. You can actually add or remove any wallets or manage any more wallets. But right now, congratulations, you have installed Trust Wallet and you are ready to go. So how can we now transfer our funds from Binance to the Trust Wallet? Now you can see two options. Whenever you want to send some tokens, so let's say you have a friend or you want to send some tokens to someone else, you click the send button, you choose which token you want to send. So let's say um, BNB, for example, you enter the recipient address or the address of the user that you want to send it to. 
with the amount and that's that. Now, in this case, we're obviously getting funds from Binance to Trust Wallet. So we're going to click on the receive option. And now you can choose which token you want to send. Now, in my example, I'll be sending some BNB on the Binance Smart Chain. But you can actually choose whatever you want or token that you want to send. So let's say you have Ethereum. You click the Ethereum button. Or for this example, I'm going to be sending BNB. So what you see is you get a QR code, which you can scan with a mobile phone if you're with someone or someone needs to send it to you. But you also see this little button that says copy address. So if you click that, you're going to have your address where you can send some funds to. So in this case, I'll be clicking this button, which says copied. So right now I have copied my address where I can send BNB on the Binance Smart Chain network. So let's then go to Binance. And like I said, in the example, I'll be withdrawing some BNB. So right now, as you see, I have some UCT. I'll be converting that over to some Binance or BNB coin to show you guys how to withdraw that. So if you want to know how to convert some quick money, Binance has the option to convert. And what we then do is you choose UCT to BNB. And let's say we want to send 100 USDT, you can choose any amount you want, or let's say you want to send all your money, but in this example, I'll be sending some BNB worth $100. So you click preview conversion and you convert. And then what you have is $100 in BNB. So let me show you. And there we go. We have 0.4 BNB. Now I want to withdraw this to my trust wallet. So how can we actually do this? We click BNB and you see the option withdraw. So you click withdraw. You see the coin that we're withdrawing is BNB. Now the address is the address that we have copied from Trust Wallet. So we simply copy this address again and we say paste over here. And automatically it chooses a network. Now in this case, I'm withdrawing to the Binance Smart Chain, BEP20. Um, but if you ever have another network or you have another address, this is the place to go. So let's say you're sending Ethereum on the ERC20 network, you're going to enter that over here. Now, how much are we withdrawing? So I'm going to choose from max as we have 0.4 BNB ready. And then all you have to do is click on the withdraw button. Now, what's actually going to happen over here is you're going to have to choose two verification methods. So the reason for that is Binance has some security issues or sort of requirements in place show you're the person that's withdrawing your funds. So what you do is you click on the Authenticator app, you're entering that code that you have received on your Authenticator app and you click the email one where you're sending an email code to your email address that's connected to your Binance account. So I'm going to be confirming these two and get back to you guys. So once that's done, you're going to be seeing this screen and the withdrawal request has been submitted. And as you can see, we withdrew 0.4 BNB and that's being sent to the address that we entered. So what you do is you click complete it and that's that. Now, all you have to do is go back to your trust wallet. You can actually go to your account. And now what you do is you wait until the money has been sent to your account. So we're now one minute further. And as you can see, we have $99.7 worth of BNB. You can see we have 0.4 BNB. And why is it a bit less than 100 bucks? That's obviously the transfer fees that you're paying to Binance and the network to actually withdraw these funds. So right now we have 0.4 BNB. And what you can do now is send it to other people or receive more money. So right now, congratulations you have actually withdrawn funds from Binance to your trust wallet. And right now your money is on a decentralized wallet. You can do whatever you want with it. And even if, for example, Binance doesn't allow you to withdraw or something happens with Binance, you still have your own tokens. Because right now it is not your keys, not your coins. My advice would always be leave your coins on a decentralized wallet like this. Do not store it on an exchange because you never know what's going to happen. So once again, You've now transferred funds from Binance to Trust Wallet and you can repeat this process or do it again with different coins or all your funds. It doesn't really matter or even another wallet than Trust Wallet itself. So you can actually get your coins out of the exchange. So that's actually it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the description below. If you learned something from it, leave a like and subscribe obviously to the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at AltCryptoGems for more daily crypto content. Thank you very much for watching. 
And like I said, if you have some questions, please do let me know so I can help you out. Thanks for watching.